This video describes how to determine the speckle sensitivity of a camera using the CamSpec software. Let's start with the CamSpec Express. The camera is placed in front of the CamSpec Express and captures a raw image of the filter plate. An additional dark image needs to be captured and loaded into the software. After that, the captured image of the filter plate is loaded into the software. And by pressing the start button, you start the evaluation of the filter image. It's converted into a TIFF file, and then the filter regions are displayed. And once you confirm that, the software automatically generates the RGB speckle sensitivities. The same thing can be done by using the IQ LED devices. Place the camera in front of the IQ LED device and light up one channel at a time and capture an image of each of these channels. You again need to capture a dark image. The individual captured images are loaded into the software. These are 20 images of each of the color channels. And after that, you also select the dark image subtraction, the dark frame subtraction, and load the dark image into the software. And then simply press the start button and the software automatically converts all the images into TIFF files and analyzes the images one by one to determine the spectral sensitivities. Most of the time, the spectral sensitivities that are determined here are used to correct the colors of a camera. In order to do that, you simply load the spectral sensitivities measured um, with the software into the profiling module. You select your reference illuminant, your training data, and your test data. And then again, pressing the start button automatically generates color correction matrices uh, for different ways and you can also export an ICC profile uh, for applying that to any of the raw images later on in softwares like Photoshop for example. You can evaluate the quality of your color correction by looking at the spectral response properties. So this graph shows the color matching functions, the original camera spectral sensitivities and the predicted ones after the color correction. In addition, you can also look at the delta E values for a color checker SG in this case, and you, you see the delta E values for those. You can also do a verification of the profile on real images. Load your raw image into the ICC profile evaluation module. And then you can apply your ICC profile that you've just generated and see the difference between the original and the profiled image. We hope that this video helped you to understand 
the color correction process by using spectral sensitivities.